It was a busy time at the docks. All the engines were working hard, pushing and pulling freight cars about. One morning, Percy was late. Cranky the Crane was quick to criticize. These ships can't be kept waiting. They have important cargo. If they miss the tides, they will be delayed in the docks. You should look up to the ships and show more respect. You are, after all, only little. We've got too much work, huffed Percy. Then perhaps a lorry should do your job. Percy was shocked. He told the other engines what Cranky had said. Stuff and nonsense, snorted James. We engines run this island, said Henry. What if a lorry does arrive? I'm afraid it did, along with two more. Cranky was delighted. Hey, you down there, your job's done now. These lorries are taking over. One of them wants to talk to you. The lorry was very rude. What's that steaming lump of scrap iron doing here? Be off with you. Scrap iron? Steaming scrap iron? Ha! A little later, Percy met Thomas and James. Another lorry was being rude to them. Then he saw Percy. Oh, look, it's a little green goblin on wheels. <laughs> You'll be scrapped. Just you wait and see. Well, bust my boiler. What a horrid lorry, exclaimed Thomas. Despicable, agreed James. The next engine to meet a lorry was Toby. Well, well, well. No wonder this railway's a mess. You belong in a museum, not working in a quarry. I might look old, but I'm very useful. Useful? Pa! replied the lorry. Just you tootle off. Tootle, spluttered Toby. Come along, Toby interrupted his driver. Don't bother to argue with him. We'll go to the flour mill instead. But when they arrived at the flour mill, Toby was shocked to see yet another lorry. What are you doing here? We three are doing your work now. You're too slow. The foreman spoke to Toby's driver. I'm sorry. Times are a-changing, I'm afraid. Toby might be old, replied his driver, but he's reliable. Come on, Toby. We'll go to the farms. They'll still use us. Toby trundled sadly away. His railway ran through a narrow gorge, but vehicles had to tackle a steep and dangerous road. When Toby arrived, he saw the lorry from the quarry again. It was loaded with rock. That lorry's in trouble, thought Toby. And he was. The driver was thrown clear. Rotten roads, he muttered. The wrecked lorry was taken to the docks. Percy looked at the lorry. What's this lump of steaming scrap iron, he teased. I'll be back, replied the lorry, so you can wipe that silly smile off your smoke box. Ha, said Percy, and wished him loudly. Then Butch, the breakdown vehicle, arrived. He was towing the lorry from the flour mill. What happened, asked Toby's driver. He was overloaded with flour, came the reply, and he broke down. Not very useful now, are you, said Toby. Grrr, replied the lorries. Then James whistled excitedly. They're bringing in the third lorry on a barge. What happened to that one? James asked. Stupid lorry was reversing and fell straight into the sea, said the tow truck man. Later, Thomas arrived. He looked at the three lorries and laughed. Well, 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 the brothers Grimm, smashed, broken, and sunk. The lorries didn't return, and the engines now work even harder to make sure they never will. <laughs>